All right, I just did my background check. Let me see when I can go pick this gun up, man. Let's see. Three day waiting period. <laughs> you had to wait. I had to wait. We had to wait. I see I'm putting on my surgical gloves real quick. I had to make sure I had these energy readers on just to see how fire this thing was. All right, let's get into this unboxing of the Smith & Wesson. The Performance Center Smith & Wesson 2.0 Carry Comp. This is that MP, guys. This is the polymer version. Uh, I did not go with the metal version. I seen Humble Marksman review, and I was like, should I spend the extra coins on that or get an optic? I chose the optic, so this is the polymer version. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Smith & Wesson, you could have done better, man, than to give us a cardboard coffin for this thing. But it's not about the box, guys. It's about what's inside of this thing. We get this thing open, and we got all of our manuals. We got a manual here. We have your registration and stuff like that. Of course, the good old warning, man. They got to warn us and make sure that we know what we're doing with these firearms. So, yeah, man, we got the blue coffin, as I just showed you. And then they have my firearm in a evidence locker bag. So was this used in the commission of a crime? I don't know, man. I don't know, gang. Which I think. No, nah, it's brand new. But they have it in this uh, condom. This is unusual for me. I've never seen a platform come uh, in an evidence bag before. But let's go ahead and get this open. Pistol is amazing, y'all. I felt this at the store, and it was like, I fell in love with it, man. I fell in love with it. I've never liked the MMPs before. I've had a couple of Smiths. I actually have a little 380 bodyguard as well right now, but none of them are this freaking sexy, guys. None of them look like this. Let's go ahead and rack this slide. YouTube, we are compliant. There's nothing in the mag. This is a simple unboxing. Everything is factory. Everything is just how it came from Smith & Wesson Studios. We have our compliant 15 round mag already inserted into the pistol. We have uh, a beautiful slide here, man. Just look at all these serrations and cuts. I think this is like some sort of a charging handle that these guys have put in here. If you guys can see that. And that comp so the comp looks good bro but what i'm used to seeing with comps is kind of a bigger chuck this is a chuck and from the slide let me drop this from the slide it looks like it will be a bigger chuck than it, what it actually is if you can see that let's see we'll have to see how that performs man uh, mind you again this is factory this is all factory this is the brand new mmp 2.0 carry comp in polymer like I said, Humble Marksman deterred me from getting that aluminum one. My point of aim is good with this, man. This thing is very nice, very nice. We have our Tradium uh, front optic on there, front iron, and we have uh, a U-notch in the back. I'm cool with U-notches. It's way better than that Glock field goal, right? Y'all know I uh, always got to throw my Glock punch in there, but... I'm wondering if you could do something with this right here. Let me know if you could do something with this or would you even do something with this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about this trigger. It looks very nice. It looks way different than what I'm used to with dealing with these uh, Smiths. And I don't have much knowledge on the Smith, right? But the trigger is usually just some stupid generic shoe, you know? So this looks a little better. All right, that was a good trigger pull. I should take the mag out for this. Let's take it out. And let's see that. Let's give you guys a view of the reset. Not too bad, not too bad. So the next thing in this box is going to be your grips. And me wanting to have like the biggest grip that I can have, I'm probably gonna put this large on there. I think they call it... It's just called the large, or this is the medium large, or the M large, or whatever you want to call it. Let me know down in the comments uh, if you know what that's called. What is it, the, the mega large? I think that's bigger than the regular large. Let me see. 
So this is the large and this is the M large. I'm gonna call this the mega large. Y'all go ahead and correct me, man. I know nothing about M and P's as far as this stuff, but I'm gonna put this large, large one on there. We can go ahead and toss the small one. So we'll not be using that. Of course, I'm gonna pick it up and put it back in the box, guys. Don't hate on me. But we're gonna use the large one. The texture feels great. The one that is on there is cool already. I have a great uh, point of aim with it. But like I said, I like the larger look and feel. So we have three of those uh, on top of the one that comes on the platform. So they have four all together, four grip modules. We also have your trusty dusty lock. Hey, we won't be using that. These things come with an extra 15 round mag, YouTube compliant. So you get two of these within the box. I think that's fair. You know, I would love to see companies give us more mags out the gate. I think these things cost just under five zero. That's a lot guys. They've also given us a cleaning kit. Almost dropped that if y'all didn't notice. Uh, basic and typical. Go ahead and open this thing up. So yeah, basic and typical. Uh, I give you kudos for this. This is nice. Um, I have so many cleaning kits, man. I don't think I'll even use this, but you can never run out of supplies. And I think it'd be great to actually have this, so. Yeah, we dropped one. But I feel like this is the most important add-on that they could come out with just giving you the options to get those optics on there instantly and basically any way you want now i kind of want to run an acro style platform on this so i don't think they have one for me so i'll be putting on an rmr cut uh factory optic i'm putting on a factory optic guys they gave it to me in the box it's in the box already guys just to let you know uh youtube we are compliant these are all factory things that come with it. But the problem with these for me, this is the this is one of their better features within this box. Besides the platform, the platform is gorgeous. But these things are plastic, bro. Now I've had a buddy of mine already run into issues with this, with the screw shearing off after about 200 rounds. So we'll see uh, what it does for me. And I'm wondering if he actually had the thing mounted on there correctly. It's my boy. I feel like he knows what he's doing, but sometimes we're in a rush. We don't let things cure before we take it out to go shoot. Maybe it has some of those user end issues, but these things are plastic. It's a plus, but it's like a, it's like an A, but an A minus, or let's say this, it's passing. So it's a B minus. It's good that they give you this, but I would prefer this to be metal. Wouldn't you guys? So in this MNP 2.0, the polymer edition guys, they have given us two mags, a cleaning kit, seven optic plates, and we have about four back straps or grip extensions, whatever you want to call it, uh, palm swell type of thing. But we all know the key feature is that blowhole, that portabella, guys. Now I'm going to see what else I can have fashioned with this, but I think for eight, 35 out the door is what I got hit. I know a couple of other guys uh, had to deal with less than that for the polymer edition, but this is brand new from a big box uh, store. So I had to pay what I weigh to get in the game. And they had the metal. I would have went with that, but I, I listened to uh, Humble Marksman and my boys. Like I said, one of the guys has a metal one. One of them has the polymer one. Um, I'm not hearing any major differences from those different things. Um, we have some play right here immediately with this back strap. So I wonder if that's just something that I could tighten up or you see that? Or if that's just gonna be an issue for me. So um, one thing I can say is the slide stop is extremely tight, which may just need to be uh, broken in a little bit, but the platform is beautiful overall. My box right here says 3.8 inch barrel, but on the website it says 4.22. So maybe that is where the actual barrel stops before they do the back boring. Um, if you look inside, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, right? 
I'm tripping. I'm dragging it out. But right behind this is backboard a little bit. And, you know, that helps with getting, like, not getting all that shrap metal. Psh, psh, having to get all that type of stuff. From my understanding, like I said, I'm just a sponge like you guys, man. I'm no expert. I'm John with 2.0. And uh, I just want to continue to get proficient with the platforms that I purchase and make sure that I'm doing the best things that I can to uh, make sure that my family is protected and those that are around me, man. That's all that I'm doing here. Um, I'm no expert, but I'm dang sure not a beginner. Don't get it twisted. So, if you like how this thing looks, man, let me know down in the comments. If you're thinking about getting one, let me know which version you guys are thinking about getting, man. I also have that PSA dagger that has that comp slide but not barrel. If you'd like to take a look at that video, watch it right now. It is going to be right above you guys, and I might even been pointing at the wrong direction. But you get the point. Hey, it's John with 2.0. Hold the door for the next man. It takes nothing to be a gentleman. I'm out, Warriors.